right, so let's take a look at another deluxe figure from the Masterverse line, the Masters of the Universe Revelations, Triclops. Uh, here he is packaged in his long box. One of my issues, I've, I say, with some of these deluxe figures, this one not so much, but some of these deluxe figures, is that they aren't really coming with enough accessories to really justify that extra price tag and that bigger box and uh, everything that kind of comes with it. I think, you know, a cape and this extra like chest piece, another head and another pair of hands. Is it really different than coming with another pair of hands and maybe some more weapons? These figures sort of come with all the same shit. Granted, he does have two different little outfits that he comes with. This one, maybe not so much. Maybe some of the deluxe figures in the Origins line are guilty of this too. But when it comes to this one, he is very cool looking. He comes as regular Triclops and um, crazy cult leader Triclops, I guess. Uh, has the same sort of action, I believe, with the eyeballs. You turn the, the head around. He has different eyes with different expressions on them. Comes with some uh, holding hands and open hands. And, uh, of course, like we said before, has his other outfits. So, and we'll see those once we get this thing open. Before we do that, let's take a look at the back of the box. Triclops, Evil and Seas everything the technological genius with the tri-sided visor served skeletor for years now that the nefarious lord of destruction disappeared however triclops discovered his new purpose with magic fading from eternia triclops preaches about the weakness of flesh and the strength of machines as a leader of technological cult operating out of Snake Mountain, he demands his followers abandon their weakness and prepare for the digital embrace of Motherboard. Okay, anyway, so we've got a very cool looking picture of, uh, of cult leader Triclops. He's sort of the uh, reverse Tulsa Doom child. And uh, let's turn, let's not waste any more time and get this thing outside of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so here is Triclops outside of the box. Uh, of course, he is packaged like so with his holding hands and his uh, standard Triclops gear. Let's take a look at this figure as is. Looks very, very cool. Has his Triclops armor. It's a very nice interpretation of the character from the vintage or retro inspired or whatever line you want to talk about. This is what you think of when you think of Triclops. And what else do you think of when you think of Triclops? His uh, magic friggin' visor, whatever they call it. He's got the, the straps there on his, on his chin. And uh, you move it. You click it from uh, from side to side, and uh, you can change the eyes on there, depending on which expression you want to have on his face. Um, very, very cool. Works just like the old school Triclops, the old Triclops from the vintage line, or I imagine what the Triclops in the classics line worked like. I'm sure, I'm hoping that that Triclops had the visor that turns and the eyeballs. Also comes with the sword and uh, you can hold it in either one of his holdy hands. It is the same mold and sculpt as uh, the old uh, Fisto, his sword. So very, very cool, looks awesome. Also, he comes with a completely different outfit. He has his cult leader outfit, has another head, has a, a little fabric dress that goes underneath the, uh, the, the armor that comes with it that hangs over the top. It is very, very cool looking, very high quality. Uh, this one of the deluxe figures where you do really feel like that the extra crap that it comes with does justify the bigger price tag in calling it a deluxe figure. I'm still waiting on the next one, but for now, 
Uh, Triclops, pretty cool. 